Hi, Dan from Cloudsmith here. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can get started with your own private secure SBT repository on Cloudsmith. I've logged into my demo organization and these are my repositories. If you want to know how to create a repository, we have another video on our YouTube channel that shows you how to do that in just 60 seconds. Now let's have a look at our examples repository. All Cloudsmith repositories are multi-tenant, meaning you can upload any of the package formats we support into one repository. So let's have a look at how we would upload or publish an SBT package. We could upload our package right here using the website interface, but let's check the setup documentation to see how we can do it with the native SBT tooling. We provide full contextual instructions. You just need to add a publish to stanza in your publish SBT file. And as this is a private repository, you need to add your credentials to your SBT credentials file, including your CloudSmith username and your API key. So let's do that. If we take a look at my SBT credentials file, we can see that I've already added my CloudSmith username and my API key. And if we look at my publish.sbt file, we can see I've added my publish to stanza and my credentials as per the contextual instructions. So all that's left to do now is simply to do SBT publish to publish the package to our CloudSmith repository. The package is now publishing and uploading to CloudSmith. And that's it. The package has been successfully published to our CloudSmith repository. Let's have a look at the repository now. We can just click on packages to view the packages in the repository. We can see that our SBT package has been published and is now synchronizing. Synchronization is where we process the files within the package, extract the metadata and make it available for download. If we now just click on the package name, we can view the metadata associated with the package. We can view any readmes that the package has. We can see the files within the package. We can check any versions, logs of events on the repository, any statistics, and also again, fully contextual install instructions for the package. We need to set up the repository first, so let's do that. To enable the retrieval of CloudSmith packages, we need to add the following to our build SBT file. So let's copy that. I have a new project here. So let's open the build.sbt file and add the information from the repository setup instructions. If we now go back and check the install instructions for the package, we can just copy this from our install instructions to add this package as a dependency for our new project. If we just check the source for our new project, we can see that it imports the example package that we published earlier and prints a simple greeting. So all that we need to do now is just do SBT run to resolve and retrieve the dependency from our CloudSmith repository and run the project. The project is building. It is retrieving the dependency from our CloudSmith repository and it prints our greeting. CloudSmith, be awesome and automate everything. I hope this short walkthrough showed you how simple and easy it is to get started with your own private secure SBT repository on CloudSmith. If you'd like to try it out, just head on over to cloudsmith.com and sign up today.